week or so ago, I used a verse from 2 Corinthians 4 where Paul talked about us having this message, the gospel, in jars of clay. And he talks throughout that chapter about just the different struggles and uh, different uh, things he had to go through and endure as he shared the gospel with others. And he says that, that it, later on uh, at the end of that chapter that uh, th th that we feel like our, our bodies are wasting away. He says that internally we're being renewed day by day. And maybe that's kind of how you feel these days. We, we have this, this struggle, this strain uh, from the outside. We have this virus that is a culture and community and nation and world that we're trying to uh, deal with. It, it feels like we are constantly under attack. And so maybe it's uh, the virus today, maybe it's uh, someone else's thoughts, maybe some, maybe just different things. We feel like we are being beat down. He says that, that, that internally we can be renewed day by day. So no matter what this pressure is from the outside, internally God can still be doing his work. And he said, goes on to say that these, uh, these tr struggles that we go, are going through are, are light and momentary. That they're, they're, they're just for a moment, they're just for a season. And so though uh, right now they feel uh, large, they feel uh, heavy, they feel big, they feel maybe overwhelming. They're just for a season. And, uh, and there'll be a time here, uh, probably very soon, where we'll look back on this. And, and we'll see the different things that we maybe enjoyed. Uh, maybe the, the slowness, the quietness, the, uh, the different pace. Uh, you know, we've been talking, uh, what are the certain things from this season that we want to carry on as things begin to open back up and as life begins to return to a little more of what used to be normal? What's this new normal look like? What are the things from uh, the other way, the old way, that we're going to bring back into this new moment? And what are the things that we're going to take from these last six or eight weeks and, and carry those with us as well? well what, what's that going to look like? Paul says the, the, these, these struggles that we go through, they're, they're light and momentary. They're just for a season. And so how can we be renewed in this season for the season to come? He goes on and he says that uh, what is seen is temporary. So virus is temporary. Um, uh, maybe financial difficulty, financial strife can be temporary. Maybe uh, some relational stress can be temporary. Maybe at home schooling is temporary. Uh, maybe uh, slowed out work is temporary. These things that are seen are temporary because what is unseen is eternal. What is unseen is eternal. Those things that renewal on the inside that God wants to bring out, that's not work that's temporary. That's work that'll be for eternity. That work of preparing us uh, in today for tomorrow. How can we be living out the kingdom of God now? How can we uh, be living in this faith now? How can God be renewing us now to prepare us for what's to come? Because we won't always be in quarantine. We won't always be locked out. We feel like we're locked out. We won't always be, feel like we're, we're put away. One day we will be back together again. So... What will those days look like? How will we be different in that time than we were before? And how can God be renewing us now to prepare us to serve our families, our friends, our neighbors, our community in that time? And how can we be serving them now? How can we be showing the love of God now, even as we feel locked away? How can God be renewing us and moving us to action? so that God can use us to share with them His glory, that they may know Him as we do. See these light momentary troubles? They're producing in us in the glory, uh, they're producing in us a glory that is, that is unseen, that is, that is for tomorrow, that is beyond anything we can compare. Because God's not done with us yet. He's still working on us to make us as Himself. I love you guys. And uh, I hope this finds you doing well. And uh, I hope this finds us looking for opportunities to be renewed in the spirit and to share with others the hope that we have in Jesus. I love you guys. I'm praying for you. I hope to see you real soon.